Hello family, we thank God for his mercy, we give him glory for who he is in our lives and the things he continues to do for all mankind. Today my prayer focus as I lift up China before the Lord is concerning the incidents of suicide. My passage of scripture for today is from Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 17. Be not overly wicked, neither be a fool. Why should you die before your time? Father, this is a word that in some respects God Almighty come or would be considered with mixed emotions. Father God, because Lord, unfortunately, we live in a world where we know that not only in China but across the nations, People have made decisions to end their lives. Some, Father God, made those decisions not because they were fully in control of their minds and of their thinking patterns and processes and so on. Some, Father God Almighty, made those choices because, O oh God Almighty, they were under the influence of something that had just altered their thoughts and some were just overwhelmed with the issues and the challenges of life. And so, Lord God Almighty, even though this word says, O oh God, that or considers the fool and the wicked to be the one who makes a choice or puts themselves in the situation where they end their life before their time, Father God, for anyone who has committed suicide, I believe that, Lord, you show them love and compassion and Lord, you're a God who really does not want people to perish. You want each and every one of us to live a full, fulfilled life. And so today, as I come before you and I lift up the nation of China, Lord, I pray that, Lord, you will show mercy to those of God who are considering making a decision to take their own lives whether they be adults, whether they be young people, because sadly, Father God, a lot of young people, I understand, in the nation of China and in so many other nations are taking their lives also. So you, O oh God, who sees the thoughts of God of man and woman, you who knows, Father God Almighty, the plans that people make each day, Father God, I pray that, Lord God, may your eyes behold every individual that has got suicidal thoughts and is actually plotting to even take their lives, Lord. I pray that for those people, not only, your oh God, will you show them mercy, but by your loving kindness, may you deliver them, Father God, from whatever is pushing them to make that decision in the name of Jesus. I pray the spirit of the living God, you by your supernatural power will intercept, Father, their plans, O oh God, and frustrate every plan of theirs in the name of Jesus, that because of your loving kindness, Lord God, you will intercept their plans so that it shall not prosper in the name of Jesus, and that rather, God, you would give them opportunity, Father God Almighty, to let it be known, Father, by their friends, by their loved ones, by people who can provide so a support system to these individuals, so that God Almighty, they will be surrounded by people who will not condemn them, by people who will not be judgmental and overly critical of the, whatever knowledge they come into concerning these choices that some of these people are, have decided to take, Lord. That instead, Lord God Almighty, with a heart of love and compassion, they would rally around those individuals to give them support. And I pray that let it be that even though support, if it just means, Father, that it will be counselling, 
that it will be an encouragement, that it would be just be giving them words of hope and affirmation. Father Lord, whatever you know those individuals need, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will intervene and cause those individuals, Father God Almighty, that are suicidal and are on the brink of taking out their lot, taking their own lives, Father God, to receive supernatural help and intervention from your holy sanctuary, that their lives will be preserved, that they shall live and not die, O God, to fulfill your purposes for which you have placed them here on earth and where they need, O God Almighty, practical support, whether it be because of economic situations that is forcing them to make that decision, may you cause there to be a divine turn around in the economic situations, Lord, however way you choose to do it, so that God Almighty, hope will come alive in their spirit and in their souls. And for that reason, O oh God, they will make a U-turn. They will have a new thinking that will take over their minds that father god they will be determined to live father god almighty knowing that there are brighter days ahead in the name of jesus and i pray that let it be that by your supernatural power some of these people will encounter believers would share with them the gospel of salvation the gospel of hope for jesus you are the living hope that many of these people will come to know you father god that what the enemy has meant for evil because it is the enemy who comes to steal to kill and to destroy you O oh god will turn it around for the good of these people that instead of death and destruction they shall come to the saving knowledge of christ they shall come to know the words of hope father god almighty and have an encounter with you O oh god that will change forever the trajectory of their lives that will cause them to live a fulfilled life here on earth but also that god almighty would enable them O oh god to have opportunity to, to spend eternity in your kingdom. Father, I pray for those young people in particular and elderly people who because of isolation and loneliness often make that decision to end their lives. Father God, where families and, and loved ones, Father God, are far removed from these elderly people. I pray the spirit of the living God, let it be their fresh awakening will come, O oh God, upon family members, O oh God Almighty, who have elderly people that are still alive, O oh God, that Father God, they will begin to seek out ways, O oh God, that they can show love and, and be there present and to engage, Father God Almighty, with their elderly families and friends, Father God, that Lord God, these elderly people will have a network, O oh God Almighty, of loved ones, Father God Almighty, that would prevent them from feeling isolated and lonely in the name of Jesus. I pray that even if it means that God, you're going to raise up institutions. Lord, who would have um, different programs, Father God, for these elderly folk, Lord, let it be that God Almighty, they would rise up, O oh Lord Jesus, and those interventions will come about and be easily accessible to all the elderly folk in China who, O oh God Almighty, are perpetrating or are considering, Father God Almighty, even suicide because they feel isolated, because they feel helpless, because they feel they've got nothing else to offer in the name of Jesus. Father God, even if it means that God, you're going to make available, whether it be volunteering opportunities, any form of opportunity that would cause them to have interactions with other people and would enable them or God to be able to use any giftings, any talents, any skills that they have so that God Almighty, they will feel like, yes, they still have something to contribute to society. I pray that you will bring those opportunities about for these elderly folk, Lord, who are suicidal because of isolation and depression, Lord God. I pray for young people in China who again many of them sometimes oh God almighty because the Lord of challenges sometimes with education even being forced oh God or feeling under pressure to keep up to do well father for some people it is because they're overworking themselves on a consistent basis even adults Lord I just pray that whatever those things are that is triggering these societal thoughts may you enable these people to deal with them and to overcome 
overcome them in the name of Jesus. Bring them help, Father. Let there be various support systems, Father God, that is made available from a place of love, a place of compassion for young people and for older folks in the name of Jesus, so that God Almighty, lives will not perish needlessly in the nation of China, that people shall live a, a fulfilled life to fulfill the assignments and the purposes for which you place them here on earth. Father God, if in this very minute, if anyone, O oh God Almighty, is on the brink, Father God Almighty, of committing that act that will end their life, Jesus, if you have to send angels, if you have to speak clearly with an audible voice for them to hear, your voice saying to them to stop, your voice telling them they are loved, your voice, O oh God, that would let them stop in their tracks, Jesus, I pray that he will do so. For your word says, O oh God Almighty, that there are myriads, thousands, millions of angels. May you dispatch angels angels, Father God Almighty, all over China right now in the name of Jesus to intercept Father God Almighty and to stop anyone that is in the tracks of God right in this minute of even committing suicide. Let there be a divine turn around, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that Lord God Almighty, sorrow will not come into homes of God Almighty and families because their loved ones would have made that decision or would have succeeded, Father God, in taking their lives. Lord God, do an amazing thing. You work in ways we cannot see. But Lord God Almighty, though we're not in China, even Lord God, we know that your word has said that when we pray in the name of Jesus, we shall ask whatsoever we desire and you will grant it unto us. And that which we ask, if it is in accordance to your will, you will hear us. It is in accordance to your will, Lord, that no one takes their life, that no one ends their life, Father God Almighty, to bring sorrow upon their friends and their loved ones, O God Almighty, and even families, Lord. So intervene, Father God, by your supernatural power and bring healing, emotional healing to all those broken people, mend their broken hearts, O God, and give them hope. In Jesus' name, amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse. In Romans 8, verse 31, What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? We're personalizing it by saying, Because God is for me, no one can be against me. The Lord bless you, and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen.